Are you ready to explore the scariest places in Europe? That's right. We're about to venture into the eerie, the chilling, the downright terrifying corners of this ancient continent. We're not just talking about any scary places. We're delving into seven of the most spine-tingling, goosebump-inducing locales that Europe has to offer. Our chilling journey will take us to the haunted halls of Miranda Castle in Belgium, the eerily serene Hill of Crosses in Lithuania, and into the heart of the mysterious Hoya Baccio Forest in Romania. We'll then explore the ghostly shadows of the Canfranc Station in Aragon before braving the radioactive silence of Pripyat in Ukraine. Our final stops will be the bone-lined walkways of the Catacombs of Paris in France and the macabre Sedlec Oshery in the Czech Republic. Each of these places holds a unique tale of horror and intrigue. So gear up as we embark on our journey to the first destination, Miranda Castle in Belgium. Hidden in the woods of Belgium lies the desolate Miranda Castle. A haunting relic of the 19th century, this castle has been abandoned since the late 20th century, its once grandeur now faded to a shadowy echo. The castle is shrouded in an eerie aura, its silent walls whispering tales of its past. Once a bustling residence of French nobility, it later served as an orphanage during the World Wars, only adding to its spectral reputation. Unsettling stories of ghostly children playing in the corridors and spectral figures glimpsed in the castle's tower have become folklore, making it a hotspot for paranormal enthusiasts. Its haunting beauty and the chilling tales associated with it have earned Miranda Castle its place as one of the most haunted places in Belgium. Its desolation, combined with its eerie history, makes it a place where the past and present collide in the most unnerving way. From the haunted woods of Belgium, we move to the chilling Hill of Crosses in Lithuania. Welcome to the Hill of Crosses, a place where faith meets fear. Nestled in the heart of Lithuania, this hill is home to not one, not two, but well over 100,000 crosses. A symbol of national identity, the first crosses appeared in the 14th century, establishing a tradition that has persisted through the ages. As the sun sets, the hill transforms. The shadows of the crosses creep and crawl, whispering tales of devotion and defiance. Legends abound here, of apparitions seen and voices heard, leaving many a visitor with a shiver down their spine. This is not a place for the faint-hearted. The eerie silence is broken only by the rustling of leaves and the creaking of wooden crosses swaying in the wind. As you stand amidst this ocean of crosses, you cannot help but feel an overwhelming sense of awe and unease. Leaving the chilling crosses behind, we step into the dreaded Hoya Bachu forest in Romania. Enter the world's most haunted forest, the Hoya Bachu. Nestled in the heart of Romania, this forest is a hotbed of paranormal activities. Ghostly apparitions, unexplained phenomena, and uncanny sensations have been reported by those who dare to venture into its depths. Legend has it that the forest is named after a shepherd who, along with his flock of 200 sheep, vanished without a trace. The folklore surrounding the Hoya Bachu is as dense as the forest itself. Tales of time loops, UFO sightings and sudden sickness are all a part of its eerie lore. Perhaps the most chilling are the stories of the many who entered, never to return. Their mysterious disappearances have only added to the forest's fearsome reputation. It's as if the forest has a life of its own, swallowing those who dare to disturb its peace. Escaping the clutches of the forest, we arrive at the ghostly Canfranc station in Aragon. Canfranc station, a once bustling hub, now a ghost station. Nestled in the heart of Aragon, Spain, this grandiose railway station, with its 240 meter long platform, once echoed with the hustle and bustle of passengers. But today, it stands in eerie silence. Built in the late 19th century, Canfranc station was a beacon of modernity, boasting one of the longest platforms in Europe. However, by the mid-20th century, the station had fallen into disuse and was eventually abandoned. Since then, it has been a place of ghostly whispers and chilling tales. Some say they've heard the phantom sounds of trains pulling into the station, while others claim to have seen ghostly figures waiting on the platform. The grandeur of Canfranc station is a chilling reminder of its past life, a ghostly echo of a time long gone. From the deserted station, we venture into the radioactive ghost town of Pripyat, Ukraine. Welcome to Pripyat, a town frozen in time. 
Once bustling with life, this Ukrainian city now stands as a chilling testament to the devastating power of nuclear energy gone awry. In the heart of Pripyat, we find the haunting specter of the Chernobyl disaster, a catastrophic nuclear accident that occurred in the late 20th century. On a fateful day in April 1986, reactor number four at the Chernobyl nuclear power plant exploded, releasing a radioactive cloud that spread over much of Europe. The city of Pripyat, home to many of the plant's workers and their families, was hit hardest. The entire city was evacuated in a matter of hours. The inhabitants, over 49,000 strong, were told they would return in a few days. They never did. Their homes, their belongings, the very streets they walked on were left behind, rendered uninhabitable by the invisible, insidious poison of radiation. Today, Pripyat stands as a ghost town, its buildings and infrastructure slowly crumbling under the weight of time and neglect. Schools, hospitals, amusement parks, all lie abandoned, their eerie silence punctuated only by the wind's mournful sighs and the occasional click of a Geiger counter. The town's former residents are long gone, but their memories linger, trapped in the radioactive dust that coats the city. One can almost hear the laughter of children in the deserted playgrounds, the chatter of families in the empty apartments, the hustle and bustle of a city that once was. But the true horror of Pripyat lies not in its silent streets or abandoned buildings, but in the invisible threat that still lingers. The radiation, though significantly reduced, is still present, a grim reminder of the disaster that turned this thriving city into a ghost town. As we walk the desolate streets of Pripyat, the echoes of the past remind us of the human cost of technological disasters. Leaving the radioactive town behind, we descend into the bone-chilling catacombs of Paris. Beneath the city of love lies a world of death, the catacombs of Paris. This sprawling labyrinth, winding beneath the heart of the city, paints a stark contrast to the romantic allure of Paris. Originating in the late 18th century as a solution to overflowing cemeteries, the catacombs became the final resting place for over six million souls. The skeletal remains stacked neatly along the walls create a chilling mosaic of mortality. But it's not merely the sight of countless bones that sends shivers down the spine. It's the tales whispered in the darkness, stories of lost wanderers and eerie occurrences that resonate with a chilling echo. From the hauntingly beautiful bone arrangements to the unnerving whispers of the past, the Paris catacombs are a macabre testament to the city's history. A chilling reminder that beneath the surface of beauty and love, death inevitably waits. Emerging from the catacombs, we reach our final destination, the Sedlec Ossuary in the Czech Republic. Welcome to the Sedlec Ossuary, a chapel adorned with human bones. Nestled in the heart of the Czech Republic, the Sedlec Ossuary is a testament to the power of macabre beauty. This small Roman Catholic chapel, located beneath the cemetery church of all saints, houses the remains of roughly 40,000 people. However, these bones serve not as a grim reminder of mortality, but as an ornate decoration. In the late 16th century, a half-blind monk was given the task of exhuming skeletons and arranging the bones. This led to the creation of some of the ossuary's most striking features, including a chandelier of bones that contains at least one of every bone in the human body. The chilling vibe of the Sedlec ossuary is undeniable. Every corner, every crevice is touched by the hand of death, yet there's a serene beauty in its structure. It's a place where the line between life and death is blurred, where the macabre dances with the divine. From the Bone Chapel, we conclude our journey, leaving behind the haunting memories. Our journey into Europe's scariest places ends here. We've traversed the eerie corridors of Miranda Castle in Belgium, where whispers of the past echo in the cold stone walls. We felt the chill of thousands of crosses, each bearing its tail in the windswept hill of crosses in Lithuania. In Romania, the Hoyabachu forest dared us to uncover its secrets, while the ghostly Canfranc station in Aragon whispered tales of forgotten journeys. We've journeyed through the radioactive silence of Pripyat, Ukraine, a ghost town frozen in time. In Paris, we navigated the catacombs, where the sheer weight of history is as palpable as the cold, damp air. And in the Czech Republic, the Sedlec Oshery reminded us of the macabre beauty that can be found in the most unexpected places. Remember, fear lurks in the most unexpected corners. Until next time, stay curious and stay brave.